Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the like button. And uh, I was on just a few minutes ago and uh, I got that video uploaded but uh, it didn't take me long to get to the subject that I left with when I left that video. And it's uh, copyright versus copywriting. Copywriting, so there's two different things there. What's the difference? The copyright is a legal device that gives a creator of a literary, artistic, musical, or other creative works. Now, um, I could have my, I suppose, my paintings copyrighted, and that's where nobody can take it and sell it. Now, that doesn't say you can't read it to others, because if it's published to the public, I would take it they think it will be read to other people. Anyway, but uh, it goes on um, uh, creator of literary, artistic, musical, or other creative work, the sole right to publish and sell that work. Now, that's a copyright. You have to get permission from the author or the artist or whatever um, if you want to uh, make money off of it, you know. So, um, copyright owners have the right to control the reproduction of their work, including the right to receive payment for that reproduction. Now, with us uh, YouTubing an article to other people, that should be okay. I can't see where the copyright would affect that. It's only if you want to take it, print it, and sell it. You can't do that without getting permission first from the copyright owner. Now, all rights reserved. This is what confused me. And then plus the other thing about sharing. So you can share copyright material because you're not selling it. I hope I'm explaining this correctly. If I'm not, for heaven's sake, please let me know in the comments. <laughs> because I'm just going by what I'm reading here. But copyright basics, copyright protection is available for various original works. Such as writing books, articles, theatrical plays, screenplays, etc. Photographs. You can even copyright if, if you're a photographer and you love taking pictures like my daughter does. She takes some beautiful pictures. Uh, then she can get those copyrighted. I wouldn't know anything about that. I'm not quite, you know, that good to get anything copyrighted. <laughs> I just do what I do just because I like to do it, you know. But... Um, and lyrics, musical scores, and lyrics, original creative work is copyrighted the moment it is created. But have a copyright protection. Now, I've got to move this over. Hope I don't lose my camera. I have to spread this out just a little bit. Okay, but having a copyright and protecting a copyright, there you go again, are two different things. It's always got to be confusing. It just can't be simple. <laughs> That's life, isn't it? Everyday life, ever since we could walk. <laughs> but what I was interested in is all rights reserved. Now, exactly, uh, let's see, well, copyright is never used as such, but copywriter is the right word, which refers to a person who writes content for advertising. Copywriter writes the product the product and service taglines captions slogans and such creative content content for a company to promote their brand remember this word with the two words writer and copy means writer of a copy but what i want to know is what does um let me scroll down here a little bit i grabbed this real quick <laughs> i didn't want to lose it again but um what does it mean, all rights preserved? Here. What is the difference between copyright reserved and all rights, I take it, reserved? Yes. What is the difference between delegated, delegated 
concurrent and reserved powers. A delegated power is given by the national government. A reserved power is reserved specifically for a state. Now that didn't explain much to me right there. I want to know what the difference is between those. Copywritten is a misspelling of the word copyrighted. It is an error whether it's used as a noun or a verb. It's easily understand why this mistake is so common. The noun copywriter refers to a person who writes copy, and in this case, another word for material. Now, uh, what's the difference between types and copyright? Types of copyright, excuse me. Well, delineated test. According to the well delineated test, delineated, delineated test, character has to be properly delineated and defined in order to deserve deserve copyright. It has to have well-known development in terms of physical and conceptual attributes and be original. And most importantly, the character has to be re recognizable and identifiable as the same character. Well, I still ain't getting to where I want to go. Uh, now, it sees uh, content writing versus copywriting. What's the difference? The second difference is skill set. Content writing and copywriting are two different but complementary skill sets. The two trades require a different set of tricks, styles, and training. It is a different misset, mindset, and way of approaching a problem. There's a significant overlap between content writers and copywriters. Boy, I'd have to do some studying on that one. Yeah. Here we are. Copyright law states that all rights are reserved automatically. So if you come on something and it says all rights are reserved automatically, by default, distribution of a photographer's images is not permitted unless the creator grants explicit permission. So, if I've got pictures, photographic pictures, and you want to produce them, you have to get my permission. Okay, first. So, free is not the same as free of rights. Public domain dedication copyright can best be classified in two categories. All rights reserved, pay up and get permission. You have to buy it to get permission from a person that's doing art, music, whatever, blah, blah, you know. But we should not be getting in trouble with what we do on YouTube. But if anything says copyright, if you're not interested in buying it and redoing it, in other words, then you're safe. So I think that's that's a pretty good uh, exploratory section here. I'd like to study a lot of it a lot deeper. <laughs> a lot of it I'm going, oh, duh. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but don't don't uh what do I want to say fringe on someone else's product without permission and paying for it you know get the permission first and then they'll tell you what the price is and you'll say okay forget it <laughs> <You know? laughs> oh, especially us senior citizens you know <laughs> oh my goodness well, there's not much more here right now. Uh, I am going to uh, put that in a file because I do want to look over more. But uh, my paintings I do for fun. You know, if someone wants to buy one, I would say give me a donation. You know, but um, I don't advertise them. I just do it because I love to do it. It's just like handing out the news. But I'm more relieved now that I know that I can produce, or not produce, but I can read 
a simple article, a news article from a newspaper, you know, CBS, NBC, uh, TV stations, whatever, without getting in trouble. Now, it would have been nice if YouTube would have made an article specifically explaining to the YouTubers. That would have been wonderful. But anyway, okay, I'm going to cut off. I'll be back. God bless you. Give someone else a blessing today. Be right back.